Hi, Timothy Unger here. In this video, I'm going to cover an older interview type question like I did with FizzBuzz, but this one isn't FizzBuzz. This one is uh, eight balls. Okay, so the general premise behind this is that you have eight balls here and uh, all the balls weigh the same except for one of the balls. One of the balls is heavier than the other ball. Okay, so so we have eight balls. One is heavier. You have a scale, uh, but you can only use it twice. Okay, so we've got to develop some kind of algorithm that we plug in the balls and we come out and we know which one is the heavier one. We can only use a scale twice. Okay, so all right, so let's uh, do this. Okay. Um, so let me go to YouTube here and let's just save this as uh, eight, uh, eight balls dot pi. Let's do it in Python. Uh, if you want me to do it in a different language, let me know in the comments. Okay. So what I'm going to do is create a function and let's call the function eight balls and we'll take in, um, we could take in eight arguments, but I'm going to take in a list of balls. Okay. And each of those balls will give a variable to put into the list. Okay. So let's go through the logic of this. So, what we're going to do to solve this is we're going to take the first three balls and compare them in weight to the second set of three balls. So we'll compare balls one, two, and three to balls four, five, and six. Now, if that's the first use of the scale, if those balls weigh the same, so let's just say if uh, ball one plus ball two plus ball three if that equals ball four plus ball five plus ball six, well, then we know that it's either ball seven or ball eight that is the heavier ball. So then we can say something like if uh, ball seven is greater than ball eight, well, then what we could do is we can return and let's return an F string. Um, we'll say uh, something like ball seven is the heaviest. Uh, it weighs, uh, and then we'll pass in um, a variable. We'll pass in uh, the B7. Uh, it weighs B7, uh, let's say we did in pounds. Uh, we don't have to do that. We could just say ball seven is the heaviest just return a string if we wanted to, but uh, let's let's actually return the weight as well. Now, uh, if B7 is not heavier than B8 in this particular instance, well, then we can return another F string, just saying that uh, ball eight is the heaviest um, and that it weighs, uh, and we'll pass in the weight there, B8 pounds. If I can if I can type here. Okay. Um, all right. So that's one particular case. Now we could also have that the first set of balls, B1 plus B2 plus B3 is greater than B4 plus B5 plus B6. Well, in that case, then either B1, B2, or B3 is the heaviest ball. So we can compare uh, B1 and B2. So if ball one equals ball two, well, then we'll return ball three. That one has to be the heaviest. So we'll say ball three is the heaviest. Uh, it weighs, and then we'll pass it in, B3 pounds. If we were doing it again in pounds, uh, we don't necessarily doing that, but um, but otherwise, let's say uh, if ball one is greater than ball two, well, then we can return uh, ball one is 
the heaviest, um, and it weighs. <laughs> I've been spelling weighs wrong. Uh, it weighs before pounds. Okay, uh, let's fix that. Okay, all right. So, and then there's one more possibility here. We can say else. Well, if the only other case is that ball two is the heaviest, so we'll return uh, that ball two is the heaviest. Uh, and it weighs, um, let's do ball two pounds. And I don't know why I put ball four up here. This should be ball one. Okay, anyways. Um, all right, so there's one more possibility, and that's that this group here is heavier than this group here. So we can just say else here, and we don't have to go in this order. Um, but you know, uh, if you if you've done these first two choices, then you only have that we have to find that the heaviest ball is in this group. So we can compare if B four uh, equals B five. Well, then B6 has to be, ball 6 has to be the heaviest. So we'll return that uh, ball 6 is the heaviest. Uh, it weighs, and we'll do uh, B6 pounds. Okay. Uh, or we could have that ball 4 is greater than ball 5. And we can return... Move this up a little bit. Oops. We can return that uh, ball four is the heaviest uh, and say it weighs. I keep spelling weighs wrong. Uh, weights, weighs. It weighs uh, B four pounds. And if we're doing this in pounds, let's put a period after that. All right, and then the last one, uh, the last possibility is that B5 is, or ball five is the heaviest. So ball five is the heaviest. It weighs um, ball five pounds. All right, so we've gotten all the possibilities here. So what we're gonna do now is we can you know, define each of these. So I'm just gonna say ball one, let's say that ball one is two pounds. Let's just make a bunch of these. Um, so we've got eight of them and we'll just change these up and change up some of the values. So do ball two, ball three, ball four, ball five, ball six. Let's make ball six three pounds. So you know, it should return ball six in this case, so ball seven, ball eight, okay. And, um, then we'll say, uh, let's just do L underscore balls equals, and we'll just do B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7, B8. Okay. And then let's, um, let's print the function. So we'll call the function. So the function is eight balls and we'll, Put this list into it. All right, and so we see if we run this, ball six is the heaviest. It weighs three pounds. Okay, cool. All right, uh, let's escape out of this. Let's change this and do two pounds here, and let's make ball two the heaviest. And we got ball two is the heaviest. It weighs three pounds. Okay, so we're all doing this with two uses of the scale here. Okay, and ball five is the heaviest. Okay. Change this back. Ball eight is the heaviest. So our, our little algorithm, our little function here works. Uh, we're finding the heaviest ball of the eight within two ways of the scale. Uh, that's the logic and the code behind it. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, could you please give it a like as it will help get out to more people. I want to thank you for watching. And also, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing as it does help the channel grow. Uh, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.